video is sponsored by IC Station, a fantastic website that sells a, a wide range of electronic components from uh, Arduino compatible modules, Arduino boards, Raspberry Pi mod module sensors. Hello guys, welcome to this video. Now what we're going to be doing today is, um, well, I'm going to show you how to build this um, plant monitoring system, ideally for indoor plants. I did this project because we're getting a greenhouse soon and I want to be able to know the exact temperature uh, of the greenhouse, um, how much moisture is in the soil so we need to water it, the humidity and the light level so I can position the plants in different places in the greenhouse. This will mean that we'll be able to grow, um, like for certain plants need certain conditions, certain levels of light. Um, so this is the first version. Now this is just pretty typed in a breadboard. And I've done this so that you guys can kind of give me hints and stuff if you think there's anything better I can do. And then I'm going to solder it onto a PCB and it's going to be a proper, properly nice project. So let's get into this. So it's, I want to do this in a weird layout. Now normally I would show you how to wire it, then do the code and then show you what it does. I'm going to show you what it does first so that you know exactly what this project is about and then I'll show you how I've done it. So if we can just have a look at the screen, um, as I said before, so temperature, humidity, soil moisture and light. Um, now this is portable, kind of. You can see I've got a massive 6 volt battery here um, and I've just soldered at both ends um, the power adapter for the Arduino Uno. So first of all, let's have a look at the temperature. Now this thing here is the temperature in humidity sensor. I'll put a link on the screen where you, on the screen where you can buy it now. Um, you can get it from IC Station if you wish to, or there's, there's many other places as well that you could get it from. Um, now it's very, very cheap, only a couple of quid, and it measures very very accurately. I read online that it's between like one hundredth of a degree, um, which is fantastic. So at the moment this room is 18 degrees and the humidity is 51%. Okay, so what we're going to be doing now is looking at the soil moisture thing. So let's make sure that's fully in. So this is the soil moisture sensor. And I'll tell you a bit more about this in a minute while we're doing the code and the wiring. But uh, just clean that off. So here we have a plant. Um, this one is completely, in fact, this one's dead by the looks of it. So we put this in here. Now this is screen. It is kind of, my LCD screen is going weird. So we put that in. Um, Soil moisture 1017. Now you, you can't actually tell what this scale means because it's just a raw sensor reading. So that's what I'll do on the second version of this. Now let's put some water in this and see the difference. So I'll put water in. Put it out. Soil moisture 3,550. Okay, my light sensor is just fairly self-explanatory. It measures the amount of light and prints it to the screen. But my screen's just gone weird, so I'm going to go back to my room and repair it. So that's how it works. And let's now go and do the wiring. Okay then, so now we're going to be doing the wiring. This isn't too complicated. I'm going to take it one step at a time. So first of all, the LCD. Standard LCD wiring. You've got the first pin going to ground. Second, 5 volt. Third, going to potentiometer. Um, fourth, going to... Uh, I think that's 12, um, then we've got uh, the next one going to ground, next one going to 11, uh, and then skip 4, then the next 4 go to 5, 4, 3, 2, you've got one going to 5 volts via a um, 220 ohm resistor, and then you've got a ground. I'm not going to tell you about the soil moisture sensor. Now the soil moisture sensor has got two pins on the end, virtual thing has. But with it, when you order it, it'll come with another module. You plug the two pins on that with a female to female cable into the two pins on one end of the module. And then on the other end of the module it comes with, it's got four pins. Um, and you, the pin on the far left, if you've got it facing towards you, goes to 5 volts. Second from the left goes to ground. Third from the left you don't wire. And the fourth from, from the left, the one on the right, goes to analog 1. You can actually change the sensitivity 
by on the modules that it comes with getting a screwdriver and um, tweeting uh, screwing in or out um, the uh, bolt that's inside the, the potentiometer that's on the board. Okay then now we have the temperature and humidity sensor. Um, I've put this on the screen. The first pin on the left that you can see uh, on the screen um, the one right at the top on the left goes to digital pin 7 uh, the middle goes to 5 volts and the pin on the right goes to ground um, so they are the pins that you need to wire up the temperature sensor to no resistors um, are necessary for this or the previous one in fact um, ok so now we can move on to photo resistors and for the photo resistor, we need to have one pin going to 5 volts and one pin going to analog zero. And you can see a picture of that on the screen now. Okay then, so today uh, for this project, I haven't actually um, used the official Arduino IDE. Now if you're into Arduino, you might know about Codebender. And very unfortunately, it is closing down. Codebender, I really enjoyed uh, using because it was like the Arduino IDE, but it was online. And it meant that when I did code on videos occasionally, I could just, um, it, the code would be online on my account and you could just access it um, from the video. Now we have to use the Arduino editor um, if we want to go online, create.arduino.cc. You make an account, you download some files and it's just like the normal one with all the different features. But it's online and I prefer the design of this one. But for general use, I still prefer just using the original Arduino IDE. I'll just talk you through this. Um, what's this here? Oh, I'm not too fussed about that. Okay, so, uh, include the digital humidity and temperature sensor library and the liquid crystal library. These are the pins that we have set up the liquid crystal display on. And uh, we're just creating a name that we're going to call uh, the temperature sensor. Then um, the temperature sensor is on pin 7. Um, then the soil sensor, the soil moisture sensor is on pin 1, and the light sensor is on pin 0. And we've got a pin, uh, uh, two variables for the sensor value um, the soil moisture sensor value and the light value. And this will change depending on what the value is. Um, in void setup, we just need to um, put to lcd.begin 24. And what this does is um, it just means that we're using a 20 by 4 big screen. Okay, now here, first of all, um, we have created a variable called chk. This is equal to, and then we're going to read the pin, dht.read um, 11 and then the pin. And that's what the, ver the variable name was up there, it was that. Uh, we're using the library here and we're reading the pin. Um, we're setting the cursor to the start and then we're printing out the temperature using lcd.print. Um, and then here, this is just a little um, calculation that will give the right temperature. Here, um, setting it to the second line and doing the same but for humidity. Here we're going on the third line, um, sensor value which we made up there is um, analog read, it's going to read the sensor pin that it's attached to to see how much, um, what the sensor is giving off. And then soil wish to equals print it out, we're doing similar here, reading the light pin and printing it out and then delaying it the program for a certain number of seconds. Um, now, it, it, I said that it goes on the second line when you put 1, that's because the first line on the LCD screen is 0, then the second one is 1, third one is 2, fourth one is 3. That's how it works. OK, so that is the code, and I will leave a link to it in the description, possibly. Thank you very much for watching. Um, if you enjoyed, please like, comment, subscribe. Um, if you are learning Arduino, um, please consider checking out the Ultimate Beginner's Guide to Arduino. Two episodes are above, episode 1 and 17. Uh, basically, episodes that guide you through some of the basics of electronics and programming and everything you need to get started with Arduino. This video is sponsored by rcstation.com. Go check out their 
electronic supplies. Uh, this was only the first version of this. I am going to be doing lots more with the idea of having um, a, plant, a plant monitoring system. Anyway, thanks for watching this video and I will see you next time with another one.